Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you our date night home video and just some things that we do to get ready for date night. So I came in from the grocery store because I wanted to pick up a few items for Gerald and I's date night at home. When we don't really have enough time, we tend to have those date nights at home and the boys may be here, but they may be out of sight, out of mind for us and they've been fed and they're upstairs. So I just came in from the grocery store and one of my favorite things to do is light candles and then I like to light my twinkle lights. My twinkle lights actually have like eight different settings. They can fade, they can twinkle and I start kind of setting the mood for our date night and I'm gonna go here into the living room and I have these twinkle lights all over the place and I'm actually using them by remote. I'll link those twinkle lights down below. I have about three or four um, sets of those twinkle lights around the house and I start setting the mood for our date night and so tonight we're going to be having some um, I have some non bread and we're going to be having a um, goat cheese and pear with honey um, flatbread which is so good so I'm preparing the pizzas right here and I am putting the goat cheese right here on the non bread if you've never had non bread you're missing out and so I'm just kind of breaking it up into pieces right here on the different flavors. We're actually going to have two different varieties of pizzas. So um, this is a really, really good yummy dish. So I'm breaking up the flatbread and then I'm going to add a little bit of thyme to this flatbread. You can use anything you want. You can actually use a little bit of rosemary. You can use a little bit of thyme. You can use a little bit of chives or green onion. It really just depends on what your preference is or what you like. So I picked a little bit of thyme up from the grocery store and I'm just going to tear a little bit from the sprigs here and I'm just going to put it all over the flatbread and there's really a certain kind of way to kind of tear this thyme off of the flatbread and it's kind of, I'm actually doing a little bit backwards, I'm making the work harder on myself. So you actually want to just kind of turn it around and run your finger along the, um, there, like just like that along the vein and it'll tear off much faster. But these particular sprigs weren't acting the best with me, so I'm actually doing this, like I said, the harder way. And so you wanna be a little bit generous and you wanna put the thyme on there on both pizzas. And like I said, this has goat cheese. Um, if you're not really a fan of goat cheese, um, I would say try a little bit of feta. And that may, even flavored feta, they have basil feta, tomato and basil feta, or just regular feta. But I'm kind of tearing this off. I love rosemary and I love thyme. I'm not as big of a fan of chives, but I do like, well, chives and green onions are almost the same to me, but green onions are a little bit more powerful in taste. So I'm going to finish tearing this off right here. And then as you notice over there, I have a pear. I've been kind of waiting on that pear to ripen a little bit because when I bought it from the store, it was not ripe yet. So we've been kind of planning this date night. And um, you can see I have our favorite wine right there. I think this wine is only um, sold in Texas. I'm not quite sure, but it is our absolute favorite. It's by a brand called Dulcis, D-U-L-C-I-S. And they actually have one of the best red wines I've ever tasted. It's so yummy. And um, so I'm gonna put a little bit of honey right here on this flatbread. And the thing I love about this naan bread is that it's so, so soft and it is so good. And I love this recipe. I actually found this recipe on Pinterest and it is just really, really yummy. So I'm spraying a little bit right here on each pizza. And then I'm going to put a little bit of my pear on it. At first I was kind of a little skeptical, but I guess when you pair these two together, you kind of see... Um, just the the mellowness of the taste of this the pears are not overpowering and actually the goat cheese is not really that overpowering either it's just kind of a nice creamy sweetness to this dish and the time just kind of balances everything out for me so I cut those in little strips and I'm putting them on our flatbreads here and guys I put my oven um, I heated the oven to 325 you don't want the oven too too hot because you don't want your naan bread to just be too crunchy and you just do not enjoy this dish. So I'm gonna take it here and um, I still had pear left over so I ate that as I was trying to prep for our uh, day night dinner. 
So I'm gonna stick that in the oven and I'm gonna, like I said, put the oven on 325 and get that rolling. And I'm gonna work on our salad because you know, you can't have a pizza without salad. So I just cut up a little bit of Roman lettuce um, here in my bowl. <clears throat> So I'm actually using some tomatoes that I really like and these are um, champagne tomatoes which are so yummy and so I take some of the handful of those and I cut those up and this is just a really standard salad for Daryl and I something that we normally do you know on a weekly basis um, nothing fancy for the video just something that we're, we're gravitating towards foods that we normally eat during the week or um, when we have those times to make them so I'm actually looking for my peeler. So I'm peeling off the um, peel onto this cucumber. And then I'm going to get a little bit of that in the salad. And I'm just taking, I love this peeler. It's by Black & Decker. It's probably one of the most easiest peelers I've ever used. And so I've gotten all of that off of my um, cucumber. And so I'm going to just chop this up really quickly and get this in our salad. So we're kind of speeding it up a little bit because I don't want you guys to just have to sit here and watch me chop up cucumbers. Boring. <laughs> but cucumbers is one of those things. I'm a really, really big veggie person and I love, love veggies. I eat a ton of veggies throughout the week and I try to get fresh veggies. I'm not really big on too, too much canned stuff. The only time you'll see me making, using a lot of canned items is if I'm making like a big veggie soup. And I can share my veggie soup with you on a later video. I actually made that veggie soup today, but it's in the crock pot and that was for my family. And it was in the crock pot most of the day. I started it around 9.30. And so we're moving on and Gerald is actually making one of his favorite pizzas um, that he wanted us to make on the side, which is he used um, a little bit of Jimmy Dean's uh, turkey crumbles. And um, no, this is not a sponsored video. This is just some of our favorite things that we like. And so he's using the turkey crumbles. Um, I really like these. We don't eat a lot of pork in our house. And I really like this because it's, it still tastes like the original Jimmy Dean's pork sausage, except it's turkey. And he's just, um, it comes in crumbles because we like to eat breakfast tacos. So he's just giving it a little saute in the pan with a little olive oil. And our Tony Sacheries right there, we give it a little sprinkle. And then Gerald's gonna cook that down a little bit um, to kind of get the rawness off of it. And then he's just cooking it down with a little olive oil. And we just use your regular store brand HEB olive oil. And so he's cooking that down. You can see in the back over there by that license plate, my crock pot is, um, is on because it has veggie soup in there for the boys. Like I said, I'll share that on a later video. But he's, um, see there, our non-bread pizzas are out of the oven um, right there. He's making, like I said, another additional pizza and um, for himself, and that is the turkey crumbles. Kind of like a breakfast pizza. And so he's putting it on the, on the uh, paper towel right there so he can kind of drain some of the oil. And so there he is taking another naan bread. The cheese that he's using for this recipe right here, which is very simple, is just a little bit of Monterey Jack and a little bit of smoked Gouda, which is so good. So this is a simple, this is very simple for him to make and he doesn't really need me to help him make this pizza. So he's kind of assembling it and getting it ready for the oven and we haven't changed it. So he dropped that in the oven. Now I'm moving on to one of our favorite things, I think more so Gerald's favorite than mine's, um, is our famous chocolate chip cookies. I will link, I've done this video before making these cookies. I will actually just link that video and then you can kind of get the recipe off of that video. Or, and you can watch me make these cookies. And that video is solely dedicated just to making these cookies. Um, this is a recipe. I have the recipe right there in front of me. I haven't made them in a while, so sometimes I tend to have to look back at the recipe in order to remember what's in it. So I'm actually um, just kind of piecing together the recipe for this. And I do know that it's um, one stick of butter that's softened, one cup of sugar, one cup of brown sugar. And there's some other goodies in this recipe. You know, your baking powder, your salt, your baking soda, 
and there's some um, we add pecans into it that's optional and then we put the chocolate chips in there and because that's just so good and you can use actually any chips that you like but this is just what we like and you put a little bit of vanilla in there and two eggs and like I said this cookie comes together so quickly and we do make them kind of big I use an ice cream scoop to get them um, onto my pan and they're just really really yummy so I'm mixing it up here and I'm giving it a good mix and guys I know you're probably surprised I'm using actually a handheld mixer I have not had the honor of owning a KitchenAid mixer yet I'm actually looking for one but I have not found one yet that I like so it's either gonna be a black one or gonna be a white one um, that we'll put here in our kitchen but I do know those KitchenAid mixers are very versatile and they can do a lot of work for different things in your kitchen but this is the quick way that we're making things and so um, I'm actually putting in a half a teaspoon of salt and then I'm gonna put in a little bit of baking soda which is one teaspoon of baking soda and then once I put in the baking soda I'm gonna go into my baking powder and I'm actually gonna get two teaspoons of baking powder just because you want your cookies to rise these cookies come together really really quickly and they um, are just so easy to make I'm actually gonna add in three cups of flour the recipe calls for uh, three and a half cups of flour but depending on where you live and the altitude of where you are these cookies um, my cookies do better with three cups of flour versus three and a half cups I just tend to be a little bit more dried out when they have that extra half cup in there so I stop my cookies at the three cup mark and then we're just gonna blend these up really really well and we're gonna just blend 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 and I know it looks like those cookies are not gonna come together but they will come together because even I think that when I'm blending them like they're gonna be so dry but this has just been my foolproof method over time making these cookies for my family and um, just getting them to a place where we really like them and so three cups tend to just do it for us so I'm actually holding my hand over it because I'm gonna spin it on high speed so that I can get most of the dough off the hooks so me I'm a cleaner so I tend to clean up a lot of things as I'm moving along I'm actually leaning over to just light you know get the oven going and I actually cook these cookies on a lower temperature our oven gets super hot so I'm cooking them at 315 versus 350 which is what the recipe calls for I guess you just gotta know your oven and just know um, how hot it can get so 315 for us I dropped in a little small bag of pecans and about a cup and a half of chocolate chips and I'm actually gonna take a spoon and just get those mixed up really well so I can jump those in the oven and we can kind of get this date night kind of started this is really the fun part of the date night for us just because we're making the things that we really really like kind of our date night comfort foods and so here I am spraying our pan and then I'm gonna use an ice cream scoop to get these onto the pan. And this is a pretty good size cookie. They're just really yummy and really, really good. And so I can put a good bit on my pan. This is a really big sheet pan. And I, I do put some on reserve so the boys can have some um, for later. But they're being really good boys and they're upstairs. Uh, doing their boy thing so they know that mom and dad are having a date night tonight so they are really respectful when it comes to that and just knowing that we need a little bit of time so I'm gonna put these in the oven the oven has um, not been preheated yet it doesn't really matter if you preheat the oven before or um, I know it's best to do that for a cake but these cookies really don't care so um, while I'm kind of managing the kitchen Gerald is finishing setting up the living room for our date night um, like I said I, I lit those twinkle lights which is one of my favorite things and if you want to know more about them um, I actually have um, a blog post that I dedicated to how to make your home cozy and I'll actually link that blog post down below just so you can um, learn four ways that we use in our home to make our home very cozy and Jill is lighting some tea lights um, there in the little table setting 
and he's just kind of gonna start looking for us a movie to watch and you know we're kind of um it's funny because when Gerald and I got married we um knew the things that we liked as far as you know what each other liked but we're really big sci-fi uh, people and I think that's shocking for a lot that even I'm a big sci-fi person um but we like our fair share of all different types of movies. I do like, you know, my Marvel movies, and um, I do like my sci-fi movies, and I do like my girly weepy movies. And so I don't really know what Gerald's going to pick for us tonight, but, you know, being day and night, we like to uh, sit close, and we like to just, uh, you know, find our favorite spot here in the living room and uh, cuddle and just kind of find some things that we don't get to watch normally during the week just because we're both school teachers and you know it is important to us at times that we find those moments that we get to spend with each other but I'm noticing that Gerald found the movie The Haunting um on Hill Mansion I think it's called I'm not quite sure but um so he set up everything for us um to get started with our date night and like I said we have some short wine goblets there um and we have put our little spread right here on the table and everything that we kind of prepare for our date night we don't mind hitting the floor i mean we're at home and this is cozy for us and you know i always tell him cheers to a new week you know it's saturday night and we really really enjoy our saturday nights being school teachers is just something that we you know it's a time for us to reflect um go into a new week and we just get to um just talk to each other and kind of wind down and just really you know get into conversation and enjoy each other um because we don't get these opportunities during the week because we're so busy and especially since we're running um our own store vault 28 and then delightfully style takes up a lot of my time and also now that we have this youtube channel um it's just that we're very busy people and so this is a really really nice wind down time for us and so, um, you know, we're watching this crazy movie and this haunted movie, and I'm a jumper, and the movie just started, so it's not really scary at this point, but I think Gerald may have jumped a little bit more than I did <laughs> watching this movie uh, last night, but I will definitely link the movie, link the show down below. It's actually more of a series show than a movie, so there are different episodes, um, I have to say this though episode one uh was really good um so we're cleaning up and we're getting you know i don't like to go to bed with the house dirty or anything out of out of dishevelment but or just a mess but um and don't think I, we have went to bed with dirty dishes and stuff like that but you know on the weekend it's a little bit more pressing for us to clean a little bit just because we don't want to wake up to a mess and stuff like that and you know I like that when it's clean and you notice how cozy it is in here and you see we have our twinkle lights going and um when I turn the lights down low and you know I like to see the flickering of the candles and the couches neat you know nice and neat and cozy and you know we have our lamp on right here in the corner and it's just really nice and it just kind of sets the mood for you know what kind of night we're gonna have and just enjoying each other's company and so I, I recommend getting those twinkle lights like I said there are eight different settings you can put them on but I like mine just to sit still so this is kind of the living room and like I said I'll link that blog post down below so you can kind of check out four ways to make your home cozy and like I said that movie that we were watching is just oh really really good so Gerald's, um, we're winding down and he's setting the alarm on the house, which is his kind of standard job for the night and um, getting us kind of, you know, our fortress, getting our fortress all locked down. And so I'm here in the kitchen to kind of wash up the last few dishes um, that we have from our date night dinner. And so we're washing up the dishes and I still have a lot of the candles going just because it keeps me just in a very calm state and I just like the mood of the candles or the mood that the candles set for us um I don't tend to fill our sink up with a lot of water um just because we don't have a divider in our sink and I kind of like just washing the dishes 
and rinsing them off at the same time and I'm actually giving the dishes a really good wash just because I'm not gonna put them into the dishwasher and if you notice um, and one thing that he's really good about is coming in to help me whether he's washing or I'm drying or I'm drying and he's washing so he's really good about coming in to help me do that and um, just help me out and we just we just talk about our weekend and you know what's to come and that's really big for us to kind of talk about what's to come in the weekend or what we have on our plates and just what we're doing um, with each other and or what we need to do for the boys and this is just kind of how our system works and just how effective we need to be and you know Gerald is really supportive of my YouTube channel and um, this is actually his first appearance in a video and you guys will see him a lot more and it's just exciting to have his support and um, just to have him along my side helping and you know we know that it takes time to build things and so you know we're just building this channel one video at a time but this is kind of giving you a little bit of input into our family and our life and what we do you know being two school teachers and just how we kind of function you know as a unit and um, so we're you know kind of rounding up this cleaning a little bit here um, in the house so Gerald's kind of putting away those dishes that he's drying and um, I start kind of spraying everything down that's my thing I'll, I'll spray the floors down y'all but I spray everything down. I'm using Myers um, spray, which is one of my favorite scents. I love all of the Myers scents a lot. There's really not a scent that I don't like, um, but I think this one is my favorite of all time. So I'll link that down below as well. So I'm really big on wiping down everything, you know, the, the nozzle, the countertops, everything to, you know, inside the sink and just spraying everything down just because I like to get up to a clean kitchen in the morning. And so we're kind of getting to the end of this video and um, just making sure that everything is tidy. And I hope you guys really enjoyed our date night video. Um, this is something that we kind of wanted to share with you what we do on, and the recipes will vary, kind of what we do on our date night at home and just how we kind of relax and wind down when we can't get out and we have all the boys at home or we're just, you know, trying to spend some time with each other. So before I leave this kitchen though, I'm actually going to grab our wine and I'm going to turn down the lights in this kitchen and I'll see you guys again soon. Good night. If you guys didn't get a chance to catch my home tour video make sure that you get a chance to click on that video and see our home tour part one